So in this video, I want to just go over some of the, the figures from the text uh, as by way of guided reading. And we're starting here with the, the title figure for chapter 36, where they show a, a, a pen and ink drawing by um, Leonardo da Vinci. The, the athleticism that we associate with muscle-driven motion is at the molecular level uh, uh, dr driven by uh, move, moving parts in, in myosin, and those moving parts are somehow coupled to ATP hydrolysis, as, as we will see. So in the next figure, uh, it's taken from chapter nine, figure 9.48, and here we, uh, the, the figure is illustrating this concept of myosin walking uh, in, in strides along filaments of actin. And scientists have figured out ways to observe this for, for single molecules of myosin. And you can see that the position of the myosin molecule is moving in, in unit increments as a function of time uh, as a consequence of these, these walking movements. In the next figure, um, taken from chapter 36, uh, figure 36.14, uh, we see a little bit more of the detail for these single molecule experiments. What's going on here is that um, there are uh, beads, uh, fluorescently, fluorescently tagged beads, which can be trapped by laser light in so-called optical traps. And that help, they, and, they, and then you can move the traps to stretch actin filament across a microscope slide. And now the microscope is trained on the, the movement of this fluorescent bead driven by walking um, movements uh, of, of the myosin molecules. And those, the, the data are, here, are again shown here, the, the bead position as a function of time. And we see these incremental jumps in the position uh, as a consequence of, of, of these walking steps. Now, the, the movement of the, the myosin is, is is driven by ATP hydrolysis. And here are some of the chemical structures relevant to understanding this. The, the bottom structure is the structure of ATP intact with its three phosphates. Um, the, the middle structure is taken from chapter 9.4. Um, and you see here the phosphorus has gone from a, a four valent structure where, where four things are attached to this gamma phosphate to a, a a, a new structure where there's five things. And that is characteristic for transition states involving phos phosphorus centers. Uh, we have the water nucleophile coming in on this axial position, and then the, the leaving group, the ADP molecule, at the other axial, axial position. And uh, structural biologists, they'd like to, to see what the structures look like at this point in the in the reaction. So they, they use, in place of uh, this transition state, which is very unstable, they use a stable uh, mimic, which will persist for a long time. Uh, and that's pl uh, created by placing vanadate ion, uh, vanadium attached to four oxygens, three negative charges, uh, right next to it, a molecule of a ADP. So this uh, vanadium, vanadate uh, ADP structure allows us to see what we, uh, uh, the, the situation when, when myosin has finally gotten to the, to the transition state. Chapter um, 36, uh, figure 36.10, shows uh, the, the molecular motions or movements associated with getting to that transition state. Here again, we have the, the, the vanadate ADP structure, and this structure uh, is compared with uh, this, uh, the molecule when there's no nucleotide present. And uh, the difference is that we see very, very getting to the transition state, we, we see movement in these two loops called switch one and switch two. And these movements are very subtle, maybe a, a, a fraction of an angstrom. And those, those movements are coupled to movements in the, in the relay helix, which are more substantial. So the helix movement has sort of amplified the consequence of getting to the transition state. And movement in the relay helix is then further amplified uh, through movement of this lever arm. And you can see here the, the lever arm in its position when there's no nucleotide bound 
uh, compared to when we have this transition state mimic at the at the active active site. All right. So how is this all uh, getting us to a, a walking a model for walking and where is the uh, the power stroke for it, uh, during during the whole process? And this figure figure thirty six point fifteen tries to show all of the the moving parts and where the it's trying to emphasize like where do we actually do work as we walk along the actin filament. Myosin is originally nucleotide free.